So what's going on guys, my name is Chopper and welcome back everybody to a brand new video. In this one we're going to be talking about the top 5 best heroes to run in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now as a little caveat here, this is the top 5 best heroes in my opinion to run and also where we're at currently in the game with all the updates and who's been buffed, who's been nerfed and where everybody's sitting at right now. Now, as always, guys, before you start on this video, if you could leave a like if you enjoyed it, that would be awesome. We'll go for 150 likes. I know you could absolutely crush it. That would be sick. Subscribe to this channel if you are brand new for more videos just like this one, as well as live streams and everything else Star Wars Battlefront 2 related. And also, let me know in the comment section right now, who is your number one hero to run in Star Wars Battlefront 2? Your absolute favorite. Let me know in the comment section right now. But basically, this is going to be a list of my favorite heroes that are the absolute best to run, in my opinion, anyway. And all these are subject to change with patches and whatnot. Some can get nerfed or buffed. But right now, where we stand in the game, I feel like these are the heroes that I would run all the time and that I would recommend to anybody else playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 as well. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the top 5 best heroes in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So taking my number 5 spot on this list is going to be Captain Phasma. I don't know, I actually really really enjoy Captain Phasma and I know this isn't a traditionally what you consider good hero and not a lot of people tend to run her, especially in Heroes vs. Villains. You do see her a little bit in Galactic Assault which I also think she's fantastic for but Captain Phasma is like an all around balanced hero and can be good in any situation. In HEV you pretty much just want to play around your droid and you're almost untouchable especially to lightsaber heroes, They can it can absolutely devastate them. Her gun also very recently got buffed so you can shoot more without it being overheated which was a little bit of a problem because her gun doesn't do the highest amount of damage but it does have a, an extremely fast fire rate and you can put out a lot of DPS as long as you land those shots but at a range you know it's kind of iffy she's a better up close hero for blasters but uh, I think Captain Phasma all around if you know how to use her abilities can be a really really good hero. She is the epitome of the mindset I have when I play this game where I think on average blaster er heroes are harder to use but they can be a lot better especially like if you learn the moveset and play against heroes who don't really uh, aren't expecting that blaster heroes are the way to go in my opinion so anybody who was on the fence about running Captain Phasma, I would say honestly give it a go. I would encourage you to use her. Her uh, move set can be a little bit difficult, especially learning the timing with the staff strikes. That's probably one of the biggest skill gaps that Captain Phasma has. But when you get these down to a T, you are actually going to be a monster. But that is why Captain Phasma has to take the number five spot on this list now. Coming in at the number 4 spot on this list, I gotta give this one to Finn. I think Finn is a fantastic hero, even despite him being recently nerfed. Um, a couple days ago, he got nerfed, and his guns do a little bit less damage now. His aimbot ability isn't as effective as it used to be, but Finn is still incredible at both heroes versus villains and galactic assault. The only downside or weakness I really feel like Finn has is that he's hard to use against multiple Saber heroes because you can't really pull out a lot of damage at once and it's hard to get them off you but you know if you're tactful with your rolling and able to use your abilities correctly you can still handle them. You can handle your own in maybe a 3v1 situation uh, if you're good enough and I think Finn in terms of Galactic Assault is also insane. The aimbot ability, you can literally jump into a crowd of enemies and just start hopping around so they can miss shots and buy yourself time to stay alive and your aimbot will do all of like the the killing for you you you'll probably be done with it with at least maybe five kills on you it is ridiculous and you can just go in and blow people up with finn and I also think that Finn is a really good starter blaster hero. As I said before, I feel like the blaster heroes are better on average as compared to the lightsaber ones. And Finn is a really good one to sort of get the basics and uh, just so you can learn how to shoot with him and aim properly in this game. Because a more advanced hero like Han Solo that uses a blaster, you don't really have the aimbot ability like you do with Finn. And uh, you don't have that luxury. So I would recommend if you want to get into blaster heroes, probably start with Finn. He's an easy one to get into and learn the, the basic controls and functions of him as well. But I think that is why Finn had to take the number 4 spot on this list. Now coming in at our number 3 spot is going to be none other than Rey. I would argue that Rey is the greatest lightsaber hero on the light side. Even better than Luke, probably even better than Yoda, except for Galactic Assault. I think Yoda has the edge in GA, but Rey definitely trumps him in HPV. Rey is so good in this game mode strictly because of her moveset and how quickly and often she's able to use them. I have a really good strategy with Ray where you run this card called Opportunist and basically what this does is allows you to do more damage on enemies that are tagged up by your insight and this ability recharges crazy fast. You can constantly be spamming it, tagging people up through walls, letting your teammates know where they are, you know, calling them out and things like that. But also at the same time, while they're tagged up, when you do lightsaber strikes, you're dealing an extra multiplier of damage. So your saber is literally going to do more than they would ever expect. 
And when you combine that strategy with the mind trick ability, it's even better. What that does is not only does it invert the other player's controls so that it's harder to move around their character, but also, more importantly, it slows down their sensitivity so you can get an opportunity to go around to the back and get a couple free strikes in that they cannot possibly even defend. And it's a really good strategy for taking enemies down like Darth Vader quickly, who have an absolute ton of health on just our tanks. I would highly advise you to run Ray in Heroes vs. Villains. In Galactic Assault, if you have the choice, maybe go Yoda. He's a little bit better at deflecting Blaster Fire, and uh, he's even harder to hit in that game mode, which I think is super important. But nonetheless, she's good in both game modes, and whatever you decide you're more comfortable with is always going to be a good call. But I think she's one of the greatest heroes of all time in Heroes vs. Villains. I usually always run her if she's available on light side, and uh, she's overall just a good one to use. So that's why Ray has to take the number three spot on this list. Now, getting it into our number two spot... So taking our number two spot is going to be Han Solo. He is the hardest blaster hero in the game to use, but on the other side of that coin, he is the most rewarding if you know how to use him. Now, the deciding factors of whether or not you're going to be successful using Han is how good your aim is with him and how much you use that air burst grenade that you have. Those are the two game changers deciding on how well you're going to actually perform with this hero. His gun shoots extremely slow, so you need to hit your shots, and this definitely rewards a steady hand, and the only way to raise that fire rate cap is to use your sharpshoot ability to where you basically have almost like an unlimited fire for a couple of seconds, but the problem is you have almost zero mobility during that, and you need to be in a, sp a safe spot while you're using it, or else you are going to die, especially against saber users. What I really like about Han though is that there isn't an enemy or an enemy type that you can't handle. Like say with Finn, Finn is really good you know, against other blaster heroes and some uh, saber users, but against like a Darth Vader who can sit there and block almost infinitely, Finn can be useless as he doesn't have a counter to that, but Han Solo does. When you throw that airburst grenade and uh, you end up blowing it up near a saber user, it's going to throw them off balance and actually break their block so you can get some free shots in, and if you can land those crucial shots, his time to kill is actually really, really low, so you can drop people insanely fast. Using your combat role with Han Solo is also crucial to stay alive. You're going to use that to basically put distance uh, between you and a saber user. And if you can do that enough, then you can call your sharpshooter and absolutely blossom. Because if you hit every single shot with that, I don't care what kind of hero it is. It could be Darth Vader. He's, he's just gone. He's dead. When it comes to Galactic Assault, I'm not really sure if I would run Han Solo or other, some, uh, other blaster users, but he can be really good for that as well. As long as you know what you're doing, you know how to land your shots, and you can use every single move properly. The only thing I don't like about Han is that the shoulder charge is almost kind of pointless. I feel like it's only good for finishing off weak enemies, and it's almost just like a glorified melee, so I don't tend to use that a whole lot. It's really about the sharpshooter, your regular uh, shot from your deal 44, and that air burst grenade, but if you can use all those in harmony, you can be an insanely good hero. But that's why I strongly recommend Han Solo to use, especially in HVV if you can get used to him. He's crazy good. So now coming in at the number one spot on this list, I think you guys already know what's up. So of course, taking my number one spot has to be the hero known as Darth Maul. I don't know, guys. I cannot speak highly enough of Maul. I feel like he is the greatest potential for heroes in the game, only if you can really get a grip and know how to use him. If there's someone that really doesn't know how to use Darth Maul properly, it's insane how much they're actually going to end up dying because he has zero defensive moves. Besides his combat role, obviously, a lot of the saber users can either block blaster fire or lightsabers. Darth Maul can do none of that, but the thing is, he overcompensates with all of that by be being a completely offensive monster. And that fits my preferred play style perfectly. I love to be like the in-your-face, very aggressive player, and Darth Maul is exactly how I like to use him. There's a card that he has called Fool Me Once, and I have it completely uh, maxed out at level 4, and what this allows me to do is almost spam my abilities as much as I want because they have a 10% faster recharge rate, so it's really, really good how, how quickly I get them back, and after using him for so long, it's kind of like muscle memory now where I know when my abilities are going to be recharged again. I don't even need to lose my focus and look down at my screen to see you know how close my abilities are. It's almost like I, I can feel when they're ready. It, 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 it kind of sounds weird, but like I, it, you know what I mean. He's got to take the number one spot just because of how well I vibe with this hero. He might not statistically be the very best, you know, in just all the numbers ways, but it, it, I think any hero can be good in the right hands, and Darth Maul is definitely the one that was made for me. I think he's best used in Heroes vs. Villains, that's where he will be the most effective, but he's also not bad in Galactic Assault either. The thing is, you can't just go rushing into their spawn and just messing people up. If you do that, you're going to die really quickly, because you have zero defense, but if you find the right time to strike a group of enemies who aren't expecting it, and then you get out quick, you're going to be fine. You'll probably end up surviving the whole game. You just need to, you know, you need to act like a predator and know exactly when to strike. 
But that's why Darth Maul has to take the number one spot for me personally. Now, of course, this list was all my opinion and just who I think that I would run and maybe you should run as well. I want to know in the comment section, though, who is your favorite hero? No, I didn't include heroes like Chewie. He didn't make my list because I feel like Chewie's kind of like a scumbag here. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's kind of he's kind of a greaseball, you know? Him and Palpatine are going to end up catching that nerf hammer soon enough. I didn't want to include any heroes that I felt like were kind of uh, exploitative or a little bit overpowered, in my opinion. I, I want to pick heroes that took skill to use and can be good if you do that, and... For me, just Chewie or Palpatine to some extent also isn't really like that, but the game will be rebalanced as they see fit, and uh, this list may change down the road, but for now, I want to know in the comment section who your favorite hero is, guys. Let me know down below, and anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a thumbs up. I would appreciate that an absolute ton. Subscribe to this channel if you are brand new. We are approaching 2,000 subs, and uh, you know what I decided to do, guys? I'm going to do a face reveal at 5,000 subscribers, so if you'd like to see what I look like uh, once we hit 5K, that will be a thing. So anyways, guys, that's going to be the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really to appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video. Peace out.